Hello and welcome to this uh, New Year's shave everyone. This shave is for you, all of you who watch this and uh, support my little channel here. You are very very important. Um, I don't know really if I should have gone on doing this if it was not for all of you great guys out there who support me. So that's why I'm gonna dedicate this shave for you. And I'm also gonna mention your names in this video. I'm gonna start by doing that because I want to be show my gratitude to you all. Um, so if you think this is very boring, skip forward a minute or two. And I'm gonna do a shave. No reviews, just a calm, nice shave with uh, good products, hopefully here. So uh, I'm gonna start now. I'm gonna start by mentioning Mike H. Um, you have become a very close and personal friend. And I'm very, very grateful for your support of this channel. I would not have uh, continued in this phase of this with this channel if it was not for you. So thank you very, very much, Mike. I'm very grateful uh, and I also want to thank Abe Froman because you also become a personal friend and uh, thanks for your support not only to me but to all almost every uh, shaving channel out there great work Abe and um, the rest of you I'm gonna na name in no specific order so I'm gonna mention you by your YouTube names because I don't know all of your real names. Um, the Greek Shaver, uh, Trevi B, Bruce Goller, Jill, Scotty 2397, Marco Sercuglini, Y Park, Sokal Shave, Matti Lindholm, Hi Fi, Chris, Patrick Eremi, Outlaw Shaver, Sid Geo. Fragrantica Video, Talega One, Shave and Butcher, Friendship Shaving, Shooting the Shave, Jeffrey Smith, Kevin Shaves, C. Kiefer, C. Kiefer, sorry, Flash Boredom, Milan Dunic, Kantos, GPT, Carl Newman, Vintage Live, Chris Bennett, Connor Magnusson, JMR5707, Michigan Transparency, Nader, INM, Scott Ohl. Scott Ohl did his first shaving video today, check him out. Lovekinna Peral, Hell's Music, Nav M, Master the R41. And last but not least, all of you who watch this, my videos but don't comment. It's perfectly okay. You don't have to comment every video. You don't have to comment at all. Uh, feel, please feel free to do as you want. Um, this year has been both good and bad for me. It started very bad because I was quite ill, but I had an operation and I went okay after that. Uh, in that perspective, I have uh, have to live with chronic pain and exhaustion. And I had adjusted my life, so I accept that and uh, I feel very good anyway. So I'm happy it's been a good year mostly for me and I hope that uh, 2019 will be even better both for me and for you guys out there. So here we go. I'm going to start to shave. Um, things I will use today is the, my favorite soap so far still. Saponificio Varicino Felce Aromatica. I'm going to try to face ladder today. Lovely scent of this one, and I'm gonna use the Fatip Grande with the new Wasco blade. I want to see what the Wasco blade do in this compared to the Rockwell. Um, I'm gonna use Matti Lindholm's ML Shave Supply Synthetic Artisan Made Brush. This handle is very very good, it's so long so you don't get soap up here. Very very practical. I'm gonna finish off with, uh, I think I'm gonna finish off with no better of Sweden today, even if it's not needed, because it's so good things for the skin in here. 
Uh, and of course, Lagerfeldt, EDT. Okay, let's start the chain, guys. I go in with a slightly, slightly damp brush. This is a triple mill soap. But I'm gonna show you how easy it is to load them. You don't have to make a mess. You don't have to stand there for 30 seconds either and overload. I think we're already there. What I do now with this soap, I can't take this out of the container. I just put it upside down and I let it dry there for a day or two. Now we just paste it on here a little bit before we add a little water at the time here. I have um, 24 hours of growth now because I shaved yesterday as you know. I didn't know how to do this video really, I uh, thought should I go through the best stuff I used this year or what should I do, or just a plain shave, but then I thought I wouldn't be here without you, and you deserve attention, because you are all part of a great community and you're good guys everyone and I promise to continue the way I do I will never ever lose objectivity and even if I get sent things from a manufacturer that in the future I will not be a whore and uh, say that it's a good product if it's a bad product. Because I don't want you to spend your hard earned money on crappy products. That's why I'm doing this. To find those soaps or it's mainly soaps I uh, Review here. And actually, around 15% of all the soaps I tested so far has been very mediocre. So it can be a value to continue to watch my videos if you are out there looking for a soap. The scent of the soap is uh, so subjective, so it doesn't really matter. It's the performance and the posture feeling that means everything. <coughs> Sorry. And I have some a lot of soaps coming up next year here. <coughs> so stay tuned. Okay, here we go. After shaving with the rock well for over a week. Going back to this beauty, it feels like a little toy in the hand. I think the rock well weighs three times more than this razor. This one has, um, has a lot more bite to it. It's 
it's an open comb. That's one of the explanation. It's more efficient, maybe. I must admit that uh, the Rockwell uh, was maybe the smoothest shaver I ever tested. But on a uh, heavy beard, on several days of growth, it's no match for against this one. You got a much more effortless shave with if I tip, then you do with a rock well, and then you can say whatever you want about that. It's a fact. <coughs> the handle on this one sucks though. Uh, it's very, very slippery. You have to dry it constantly. If you don't put all of them on your fingers, which I always forget to do I had some issues with the Vosco blade in the Rockwell I don't have the same blade here I have a new blade from the same pack It doesn't feel tuggy on this way, so. I will try to keep this video short because it's New Year's Eve. You have maybe something else to do today. I have not celebrated uh, New Year's Eve so heavily in my life. Actually, I've been alone on many New Year's Eve. When I had to work the day after, for example, I, so I don't care so much for Christmas Eve. I, but this year will be funny because I'm gonna have dinner with my girlfriend. Uh, hope you all will have a great New Year's Eve, even if you're alone or with friends.
So, I'm happy so guys, I'm gonna rinse and I'll be back. So, the post chair will just be some Nobera of Sweden. And this is the absolute last that come out of this bottle. But lucky enough for me, I got a new one in Christmas gift from my girlfriend. This is a fantastic one. If you ever have the chance to try this one, do it. So, that was my New Year's share, you guys. I wish you a really good upcoming year, everyone. And I will be excited to see you again next year. Take care, everyone out there, and I see you soon. All the best. Bye-bye.